Hello viewers, this is Herr Rotlinia. Welcome back to my playthrough of Dragon Quest IV, Chapters of the Chosen. Previously, we crossed the desert and reached the town of Bath. We found out here that the armor in the church is not really the armor that the great hero wore. The armor has been stolen. Where could it be? So now we're continuing south to the next town. Along the way, we run into four Cyclowns and a Bodkin Bowyer. Those Cyclowns like to do annoying whoosh attacks. But we will whoosh them. seem very effective against them. Let's try Bang instead. There's another down. Goodbye, Boger. Just one left. And it is down. Yep, a little heal all. This is the next town, Porth Trunnel. Hello there, my lovers. Traveling, are we? Well, welcome to Porth Trunnel, then. Thank you, ma'am. One of the chests up here in the northeast contains a mini medal. Let's see, that makes number three. Come to see the ships, have you? They'm doing some building work in the yard. Head for that big building at the arbor. All right, will do. I was a cargo lugger afore, but we ain't got nothing to lug now. No ships is sailing. I've a hell of a board. They say there was an only flame burning at the top of yonder Pharaoh's beacon, but now tis an evil flame that makes all ships as come sailing by sink to the bottom of the ocean. That can't be good. Is this place as big as the... Pharaohs in Final Fantasy XII? I sure hope not. So this Lord of the Underworld seems to be coming back to life and... causing all sorts of trouble. the inn. Nothing in those barrels, apparently. Hello, my lovers. Off on a sea voyage. How about a map of the world to help you on your voyages? Oh, bother. I was sure I had some left, but they'm not here. That's a bit blimmin' odd. Maybe you're just a bit blimmin' careless. That's a forbidden room, that one. It's always locked. Anyone who spends the night in there never wakes up in the morning. It's proper scary, it is. And we can't get in there yet. There's a sad old tale about a feller who done the self in cause his boat got sunk by the monsters. That is not good. No one else to talk to in there. Hello, sister. 
Ah, a set of wayfarer's clothes in that chest of drawers. The second chapter of the quest for the magical staff. I am Roland the Wandering Wandsman. By the Tsar of Zamaxva's orders, I'm traveling the world in search of a magical staff. You may well ask why I'm doing such a thing. The short answer is that it seems to be a favorite hobby of the Tsar's. I don't mean to badmouth him, of course. I just can't help worrying that a leader is so absorbed in such frivolity, peacetime or not. But it isn't my place to question him. Duty is duty, and now I must travel west of my hometown to follow up a possible lead. It's been a fruitless search so far. I can only hope that this time I'll find the magical staff I've been charged with locating. Tis only just a few days ago that Pharaoh's Beacon got took over by monsters, you know. But that horrible light's been shining out over the ocean ever since. Tis a beggar of a business. Sounds like we'd better go sort out that lighthouse. My ship sank almost as soon as it left the harbor. It's all because of those blasted monsters infesting the Pharaoh's Beacon east of here. As soon as any boat hits open water, it sinks like a stone because of that evil light at the top of the beacon. They say there's some feller down south over the sea who's a wizard of commerce in a place called Mentos or some such snazzy name. Must be a hell of a rich, I suppose, if he's a wizard of commerce. I wouldn't mind a slice of his cake, let me tell you. This here's the dockyard. You're in luck. We're building a brand new ship at the minute. He'll be finished soon, and he's gonna be a ship and a half, like nothing you've ever seen. Oh, is that so? They don't know how to do business. They can make as many boats as they like, but no one's gonna buy them with that lighthouse as it is. Now that does seem a bit... silly. Wow, a ship! A real ship! I've never been on a real ship before. Why, well, hey, what shall we do with the drunk... Oops, Mom said I'm not to sing that. We won't tell her. Oh, for goodness sake, why can't kids just settle? Is it too much to ask? I can't get a minute's peace, I can't. Let us check out this ship. Nothing in the barrels. There's an old seafarer's tale about a ship carrying stolen goods got sunk by monsters far over the ocean to the northeast. The story goes that among the cargo there was some priceless armor with a strange sheen to it. Oh, was there now? And it went to the northeast, you say? Interesting. And there is a pair of boxer shorts in that wardrobe. And in this one, there is another mini medal. That's the second one in town, and we have a total of four now. But yes, that clue about the armor is very helpful for later. Nothing interesting on that bookshelf. And nothing on that one. I'm a ship's captain, I am. The captain ain't got no business on dry land. I should be out on the drink. But soon as you're out of the arbor now, some funny light comes from Pharaoh's beacon, whips up a storm like naught you've ever seen. Tisn't long past that it all started, but it's already a proper pain in the keel. They say there was a princess from Zamaxa on the last ship that sailed out of here to Mentos. I bet she was a proper ransom young maid. I wish I'd seen her. I always wanted to be a seafarer. Way anchor, hard starboard steersman. I love all that sailor speak. So, it sounds like Princess Elena has gone south from here. 
wonder if we will catch up with her too. How long are we going to have to wait before it's safe to out at sea again? All that cargo I loaded up's just sitting there rotting away. That can't be good. That barrel contains 15 gold coins. Here, what do you think you're off to? There's cargo going through here all the time. You're blocking the path. And that barrel contains the last mini metal in town. How nice. That's a total of five mini medals now. I wonder whose ship this is. He must be costing an arm and a leg. No way, that's a heck of a big ship. When's it gonna be ready? That barrel contains a seat of strength. We will take that. Who's the ship belong to? Can't you see I'm blimmin' busy? That's a question for the governor, not a matey like me. Anything in these barrels? No. Nope. Let us go below decks then. Check out these pots. And these barrels. Wow, a whopping seven gold coins. I'm bloomin' rich, I am. That Tornico feller said he'd come from some place called Endor far off to the west. Must be an odd life for his wife and kids back home all on their own. But I suppose you can't do no good as a trader if you don't make a few sacrifices, eh? Tornico, huh? There's a vial of holy water in that chest of drawers. Mr. Taloon was talking about Eden South once his ships crewed up. Said there's a feller down there in a town called Mintos down that way with a map of all the world's oceans. Must be a hell of a big map. An antidotal herb in that barrel. Not the first person that's mentioned Tornico. I wonder if he's the one who commissions this ship. Who's in here? There's a brand new ship's logbook that hasn't been written in yet. I'm in a right tiz, I am. This vessel was commissioned by a feller called Mr. Taloon, but the old fool's completely zamzodden. If tis monsters that are stopping me ship sailing, I'll go and sort em out meself, or some such gibberish he was coming out with. Ah, so, Tornico has gone off to try to take care of the monsters, has he? Did he go by himself? I told Mr. Taloon we was crewing up his ship. T'will be ready soon. What's he up to? I hope he ain't been gobbled up by no monsters up at the beacon. Yes, I think we ought to go over there and check up on the poor fella. First, we'll check out the town's nightlife.
Do you reckon he's right? Could someone like me really go and serve the goddess? I ain't so sure I could. What do you want? I, I was instructing this young lady in the teachings of the goddess. They found a village over the mountains north of Casablanca that got done over by monsters. Folk have been disappearing in some Oxford. My husband's always fretting. I've tried to tell him. That's why he's going bald, you know. See if you can get through to him. Tell him to stop fidgeting and go to sleep. They say there was an only flame burner at the top of yonder pharaoh's beacon. Yep, we talked to you before. And we've talked to you before. Get back here. What are you doing? I, I'm sorry. It just took me fancy is all. But I only thought about it. I never stole nothing. Can't you pretend you never seen me? Call the sheriff. Please give me another chance. Oh, all right. Thank ye. I ain't got nothing to give you in return. Except I could tell you something. You know the many medals you find every now and then? If you collect them all up, you can get some good treasure for them. Indeed you can. Let me tell you, Summit. I'll get me a self a stack of gold and Ick. save me on hip one day too. Ick. Only problem is, Ick. as soon as I get myself any coins, I fritter them away on Ick. Well, you know what. Ick. Excuse me, he was a biggin'. I come all this way for one of them maps and them all blimmin' sold out. She said she got them from Mentos. But I don't care about that. Ick. All I wanna know is when she's getting some more in stock. Ick. That Talon's an example to us all. Well, all us traders, anyhow. I mean, first it was his own shop, then his own ship. And now he's planning to sail round the world looking for some legendary weapon. What a feller. Yep, quite a fellow. You ain't from round here, are you? Fancy an arm wrestle? I'm the local champ, you know. Uh, sure. Get away, you cheeky beggar. I want serious. You've gone and made me feel all silly. Who is it you're looking for again? Ah, well. There was this group of three folk here not so long back. Some princess and a couple of lads said they were looking for a feller by the name of Sorrow the Manslayer. Wouldn't credit it, would you? Now I know that Selena and her friends... Too bad they didn't stick around. Is it just me, or is, or is there a ghost in that room? So let us stay at the inn now. Thank you. We shall be back. Let's check out the shops. That steel broadsword is an improvement, but I don't think I'm going to get it. We'll be able to get something better pretty soon. Feathered cap. Yep. And I will get me Maya a golden tiara. And there is another golden tiara available in the next dungeon just coming up. 
so I won't bother saving up for another one. And we will go sort out that Pharaoh's beacon. What can I do you for then? Oh, who am I trying to sell it to a kid? I'm in no mood for selling. There ain't no ship sailing at the moment, you see. That is too bad. So in the next episode, we are going to head east to the Pharaoh's Beacon and see if we can help Tornico out with the light and the monsters. I would like to thank you for watching, and I will see you again next time.